Hi, welcome back to Navs Comics. We're going to talk about the Marvel's X books from May of 2021. There might be a couple from early June, but this was in my May shipment. So I figured I'll just kind of go over it, see uh, what I think. Uh, and let you guys let me know what you think. So to start here, uh, we have Wolverine number 12, uh, more on the vampire story. Not very memorable. Uh, like the listing I noticed said something like a, a grand betrayal. Uh, I don't really remember what that was. Um, the the piece with Omega Red seemed pretty cool. Uh, so I'm curious as to where that's going, especially since earlier uh, they found out that you know he was involved with the whole vampire thing, and uh, but then you know he died and they resed him and res is like a gaming term. I feel resing. Uh, they resurrected him and to a point where he doesn't really remember. So. Uh, yeah, kind of curious to see where that's going to go. So up next we have X core number one. Um, this was okay. Yeah, it was all right. It, it, honestly, it wasn't as bad as I was kind of led to believe, but at the same time, you know, it, it's not great. Um, Monet, who I find is a really enjoyable character generally, um, in that she's, you know, she's not like a likable character, <laughs> but I like her character, if you know what I mean. Like, she's a little bit um, abrasive, uh, but just kind of a interesting character. Um, so it, it was, yeah, interesting. Um, definitely curious to see where it goes. But um, I mean, I feel like you know my expectations were high, and it did not meet up meet those expectations. But um, you know, the, the whole X Corporation thing going on. Um, that's all right. X Factor number nine. Um, this has been a pretty decent series. And so, you know, this series, there's sort of a, a detect, <laughs> like a detective arm of the X world, uh, to investigate why someone had died and to verify that they did in fact die. So they don't end up resurrecting someone and ending up with a, uh, a double. So. It's pretty cool. Like I like that they have uh, Dakin uh, in the story. You know, for a son of Wolverine, man, he was a throwaway character for so long. So it was kind of cool to see uh, see them bring him to the forefront. I like seeing Northstar and Aurora uh, pretty active as well. You know, from those Alpha Alpha Flight roots. Um, wow, I can't remember this character. Oh, you don't see my cursor. Um, the character. And the forefront, um, I feel like I can't remember his name, but he's like, I think like super intelligent. Like he just learns things really quickly. Uh, you know, interesting, I guess. Um, <laughs> but the, I, I do like where they kind of went. And I guess this is the pen ultimate uh, issue. A term I learned back with New Mutants number 99. Uh, way back in, was it 93-ish? Something like that. Uh, yeah, it's it's... I've really like I wasn't expecting to enjoy this book and I and I do uh, so it's, it's been pretty cool. All right, uh, this is just like in a random order. Uh, I was having, I was kind of struggling to get these in a particular order that I could just kind of scroll through. Um, yeah, X Force number twenty, part of the Hellfire Gala. It was all right uh, in terms of like Gala stories, you know, like. Um, uh boy names are, are are i'm losing the names here we got beast domino wolverine and pink hair dude uh quinn wow i'm just i've just lost it uh <laughs> you know he played an interesting role and i liked his interaction with iron man um yeah wow i i guess this will be like a, a recurring theme i'm just gonna not remember someone's name because that's my brain. Uh, but he's a character I like. And <laughs> Quentin. There we go. Quentin. Uh, yeah. Uh, X-Men 20. I kind of love this issue. I, I now, you know, I, I talked a little bit before about I think people were not 
as excited about the X-Men book because it's kind of been all over the place. But this really brings us back to uh, House of X. And, you know, it has Mystique uh, going, I forgot what the name of the, you know, that um, station out in space, you know, orbiting the sun. Uh, that's, it's like the mother load. I don't know, mother gate. I don't know. It's such a where they're building the Nimrod. And, uh, you know, she goes there to destroy it. Um, and what's promised to her upon success is the resurrection of destiny. Which, you know, even I was curious uh, to see what would happen because they're not going to resurrect Destiny, you know, not at least not in accordance of Xavier and Magneto. So I really like that. Uh, I I want to see the repercussions of this. I want to see Mystique raise, you know, kind of hell on Krakato is it Krakatoa or Krakoa. Um, yeah, so I think, I don't, I think there's one more issue maybe after this before they reboot the X-Men, uh, but I really like this issue. Um, but yeah, I, I, I you know, I, maybe I'll, I'll get to it at the end. Like I can understand people's, uh, complaints though. Children of the Atom, number three. Well, I was worried that it was going to be more of the same of one and two, but it was a little bit different. It almost like <laughs> I, I don't know like these kids end up in space somehow and then they somehow make it back to earth like is like is their origin story so it's really weird it's, it's like they're you know they're saying hey these are kind of like mimics of the original x-men and now they're kind of mimics of fantastic four in terms of the birth of their powers so it seems you know like you would think that maybe that would be really interesting, but it's, it's kind of not. Uh, so I think this is ending early, maybe issue five. I don't really know, but that's okay by me. And yeah, again, I'll, I'll get back to this at the end. <laughs> if I remember, uh, okay. Hellions number 12, again, part of the hellfire gala. Now I noticed, uh, again, you can't see my cursor, but the, the red symbol in the bottom left indicates that it's like a minor aspect of the story. Whereas, it was a white circle it's a major aspect of the story not like you know i happen to notice that like i don't know if that was advertised like you know <laughs> how someone on you know just looking through these gonna have any idea what that means but anyway oh, you watch my video and you find out but this is a lot of fun this issue is a ton of fun the hellions crash the gala uh so the intended uh attendees are mr sinister and um havoc as well as psylocke or quanon and uh man like you have wild child who meets who finds who sees aurora and they had a relationship once upon a time you know and it's just it's just a lot of fun Th this whole like this whole hellions run is fun and again you know this particular issue ton of fun uh you know it's not like it's this major story happening although at the very end there there's a little something going on which is pretty interesting but uh yeah i i'm not sure i will say i'm not sure how much i like what they did with havoc in this series you know they kind of threw him to the side and you know like he's got this whole thing with madeline Pryor trying to get her resurrected it's like really okay okay i don't, I don't know I feel like he's just, they really made him into a lost character. Um, so we'll see where that goes. All right, Marauders 21. This is the intro of the Hellfire Gala. And so what I just said about the red and white of the sticker, Hellfire Gala sticker there, I don't think that's correct. Th this is the introduction. Really, they run through the whole event. And so I'm curious, I guess other... Issues will just be different takes on the event, I guess. I, I don't know. But um, it was pretty fun. I, I enjoyed it quite a bit. Like, I can't say I recall, like, any, like, very notable things. Other than it's just kind of cool to see all these random interactions of Marvel characters who don't normally interact. Uh, especially with some of the villains there. It was kind of cool. Uh, like, there's a bit with Captain America and someone being the same. Was it Mr. Sinister? It was someone where... 
it's just you know like not used to that sort of uh situ- oh and it was dr doom captain america dr doom the same event um, yeah you know I, I i liked it now new mutants number 18 this is uh fun you know well i guess fun's the wrong word it was interesting <laughs> another word i use quite a bit so in this one you have um sean x i a n uh i don't I man i should look up how you pronounce that um and donnie moonstar danny moonstar they're doing the oh boy words um the the coliseum thing where essentially Zion wants to die to be reborn because she's like housing her brother in her in her body and they've been unable to separate and so she's hoping that they can separate upon death and rebirth so you know Don, Danny agrees to fight her um in that that event thing that they do <laughs> Uh, and then there's a little side story with, uh, I guess they're calling her Scout now, uh, Gabby, you know, X-23's sister. Funny they never refer to her as Wolverine's daughter as well. <laughs> I mean, I mean, X-23 is like a clone of Wolverine, but so is Gabby. So, um, unless there's like other stuff mixed in, but, or Gabby is just from the same mother, I guess. But no, she has like all the same, you know, she's got the claws. She has the healing factor, feels no pain. Pretty cool character I like, I like what they've done with her anyway um there's like a side bit with her concerned about some of her friends but i want to get back to the whole like um the battle so essentially when these is often like uh, powerless mutants you know that were depowered that want to die and be reborn to get their power uh i guess there's also some other scenarios where a mutant such as uh sean want to die uh to be reborn for a particular reason you know this case so she and her brother could both be reborn separately because they did confirm that they're being backed up separately so but when they go to when she and danny go to fight it's like couldn't she kill danny like <laughs> it's just sort of a weird like you know and then you know danny is always like you know you need to fight harder i don't know why but she's like you need to fight harder against me and you know they eventually kind of both i guess give it their all and danny wins but that that's where it feels kind of weird to me like i feel like if someone's going there with the intention that they're the ones that's gonna die like you feel like they would be holding back to some extent uh, i guess you could almost call it like barbaric why don't they just like put them down um uh, <laughs> you know like put them to sleep sort of thing and then they resurrect in a, in a new body as if waking up versus going through a incredibly painful event but that's the way they wrote it and you know obviously apocalypse is when they came up with it so it's all right i guess if you don't think too much about it way of x number two now here we have nightcrawler and the legion and what this cover apparently is i believe is uh, actually within nightcrawler's mind uh, you know his psychic plane i guess um not that the story takes place there but legion goes into his mind uh finds that there is something like seated there uh something negative and says hey help me out and i'll tell you where who where this came from and i don't know if they actually do maybe he does tell him where it came from i can't remember but one revelation is who the so like in, in, episode, in episode issue one nightcrawler finds out about uh some like mysterious character called the ragman or something like that sorry at my <laughs> i don't have my facts here but some mysterious character that he thought was legion but it turns out it's not legion it's someone else and so that's revealed in this episode issue uh but yeah it's a it's a fun comic i mean i like nightcrawler and is that it yeah, I think that is it. Like, I don't see an arrow to advance, so I can do that. But so, yeah. All right. Well, um, the okay. The one thing I was kept postponing in this video was to talk about, I guess, like X books as a whole. Um, there's a lot of them, right? And it's a little bit demanding, I guess, of our our wallet of our time. Um. 
But I think what they're doing so far is they're they're kind of limiting the runs. Now, that's not to say that it makes it any better because there's still, you know, how many do we just go through here uh, in a month? Like, so a month's worth of Xbooks. And I can't find my folder. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway. Oh, no, nope. No idea. Okay, so we can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have ten X books, and we're not like we're missing. Um, I feel like we're missing one. Mm, not sure. Anyway, so ten X titles in a month. That's crazy, you know, compared to what we used to have. Like, maybe, I don't know, maybe it was like five at the most before, if I'm thinking correctly. But, you know, that's, that's quite a few. That's quite a few. Uh, you know, obviously, they're they're rebooting the X-Men. Um, X-Cores, I think X-Cores is a miniseries. X-Factor, they're ending. I don't know what's going on with X-Force. X-Men, we said the ending. This one's going to be ending presumably hellions will will be ending at some point as well i i don't know kind of hope not i mean unless there's a big change but you know they might just reboot it so i feel like i, I wonder about marauders as well maybe that'll keep going or maybe they reboot that in a different way i'm not sure you know we have the whole inferno event coming up the trial magneto so like even more books right uh new mutants I feel like that'll keep going. Uh, and, and the reason why is the issue one of New Mutants. So 18 issues ago, they had a spoiler cover, cover. And unlike some of the recent spoiler variants, that spoiler has not happened yet. And so that is really kind of cool. And I'm really looking forward to it. Um, yeah. And that if you don't know what it is, it involves... I'll just... I mean, I don't want to spoil it. <laughs> so I'm not going to say. If you want to know, let me know. I'll... I'll you know, write something in the comments and I'll, and I'll respond. So, yeah, so that is my talk about the May X-Men books. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this. Uh, if you did, let me know. If you didn't, whatever. Um, hit the thumbs up button, comment, subscribe. Really appreciate it. And I will see you all next time.